guitar bass it's your girl Brooke Raglan live with the Bree talk and child we gotta talk about Lisa Ray and her toxic ass comments on this little Kim versus Nicki Minaj versus battle but before we get into that let's like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts and remember opinions are not facts baby when I tell you the fans wanted Nicki Minaj versus little Kim because they felt like she was the worthy opponent to go hit for hit in my honest opinion, I felt it should have been Nicki Minaj versus Foxy Brown. I feel they have similar styles versus rap wise, but it is what it is. Here's how it all got started, and here's how we get to Lisa Ray's toxic ass views. But 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 okay. but then I see Lil Kim versus Nicki. Ooh, I see a lot of that. Yeah, but you know that's nah. She she Kim is Nicki is. A you put up. You already. Kim. You already trending on Twitter right now. By the way, it's the versus effect, King. <laughs> Us is twin trending on Twitter. See, this is this is special, yeah. man. This is this is fun. Yeah. And I don't know why Imagine the fans whatever. are getting so angry at what Usher said. Usher did not slam Nicki Minaj by saying that. That is not a diss to her, but it is a fact. Little Kim came up way before her in a crew of all fellas. Yes. She yes. Was with it and she was yeah. and she made that popular. So What's we can all stand you? together queens and say that we are both acknowledging fact. All of us are acknowledging the fact mm. that Kim came before Nicki Minaj and so Nicki just take a seat. You don't have to sit down for long but just take a bow. Just like Beyonce said, bow down bitches because she's here. So anybody else is like, you can't, it's no competition. It's like, come on up. But when you come, come with it. Come with it. We and all see, I, are the young I folks do, angry that they have to, like they, they feel, is there an arrogance? Like I don't have to bow down to anyone because I, is there that? Do y'all see that? I don't agree with Usher and I don't agree with Lisa Ray. Usher is saying that Nicki Minaj is a product of Lil' Kim as if she was manufactured, she has no talent, so the fans have every right. Whether you agree or disagree, you're entitled to give your opinion once you speak on something. I wish he would have kept it more R&B focused, you know, the lane he's in, but it is what it is. As for Lisa Ray telling somebody they need to bow down to another person, girl, have you lost your damn mind? That's like someone telling you, you should bow down to Roxy Diaz. Do you know how stupid that sounds? It sounds pretty ignorant, right? I don't understand why we can't celebrate these women for their own accomplishments in their own right. They're both cultural icons. Little Kim did it one way, Nicki Minaj did it another. The only time y'all want to compare them is because of a style and fucking wigs. Y'all can't do it off of verses or bars because two different rap flows and styles. I mean, that's crazy to me. If I was Little Kim, I would be pissed because my friend is sitting up here telling me I don't shine bright when Nicki Minaj is in the same room. Really? Really? I, I just don't get it. But for the slow and the destitute, baby, let me show you how Nicki Minaj paid homage. Y'all just don't want to hear it. Being a female rapper, it's not a lot of you out there. Who are some of the females that you look up to? Up I look up to the main girls that, you know, is able to make a name for themselves. Kim Foxy, I mean, Missy, um, Lauren Hill, of course. You know, people like Storm Pepper, people like that. Do you think it's harder as a female rapper to succeed? Yes, why do you think it's only been a handful of females in the game in the last 15 years? I mean, it's hard because you get judged by the industry and you get judged by your consumers, hard body. How do you feel about yourself getting comparisons compared to Foxy, compared to Kim? How do you feel about those comparisons? I don't mind. I mean, Foxy and Kim are, you know, they're icons. So it doesn't upset me. That was just used for me to get people's attention to say, hey, I got a mixtape out, it's called Sucker Free, listen to it. I, I know, you know, I'm, I'm the baddest bitch. I just want you to hear me. I just need a, you know, I needed a, some, a, a platform, really. So I used that as my platform to stand on. And that's what I did, like, you know. And it pays homage to Kim, obviously, you know what I'm saying? She did it, she did a great, she did a great job. Now, you put out the poster, the infamous poster that little Kim did back in, like, 96. 97 and you came out with your own version as a matter of fact JC I want you to put up the Kim picture first Okay Now the Minaj picture 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I looked at it as a way to to draw in um, um, attention and to give myself a, a platform to speak and say, hey, you know, out with the old and with the new. Because anything that's great revolves. You know what I'm saying? Evolves, whatever you want to call it. It it changes the same. So I commend, you know, Little Kim. And I was paying homage to, to her saying, I love Little Kim. You know what I'm saying? But I think that I have what it takes to fill her shoes. I think that if anyone has the power to do it, it's Nicki Minaj. You think when you come out, though, you think people are going to be like, oh, this is not Little Kim. She's trying to do this. She's trying to if do that. They, if they compare me to the queen of rap, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I don't... You know, how can I dispute being compared to the best that did it? And, and in my opinion, Kim is still the best because no one has had a stronger movement than she's had so far. Receipts, receipts, and receipts. I'm with Nicki Minaj. She said it in an interview, and I'll say it for y'all. I'm not going to keep kissing somebody's ass who does not respect me. I paid my homage. You're mad at me because I'm on top? That sounds like a personal problem and this is the issue with the black community they love to pit us against each other and wonder why we can't succeed and work together because it's like this just last week they was calling trina out on her bs but now because little kim is your friend you want me to bow down and kiss her feet and throw rose petals and all this other stuff because sis didn't know how to handle her business she wanted to be a hood rat hoe versus a businesswoman and a brand at this point, where were all these fans when Nine dropped? Because it went triple foil. And that's not to be shady. I like them both. Anybody that knows me knows. I listen to the old school Kim, and I love everything Nicki Minaj do. It's just two separate lanes, and we need to learn to stop comparing them. They never compare Big Daddy Kane to Jay-Z or any of the other males to each other to the point where it's like this, ever. But those are just my thoughts, those are my opinions. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye hoes.